Hey guys, I am Big and Scary, and this is another replay featuring Team Echo. This time in our bottom left hand side is <laughs> Big Dog, our blue Protoss, and in the top right we have Team Echo's Virus, our red Zerg. We are on Daybreak, I believe, Daybreak Ellie, and this is a Heart of the Swarm matchup, as you can see from the unbuildable plates rather than the supply depot that has become very very cool it's uh, basically the shining example that blizzard actually listens whenever you complain about something that's actually needing to be complained about like that's something that totally needed to get fixed and now that it has been fixed it's improved the game a fantastic amount i love that addition absolutely love that addition uh, something else that needs to be fixed is the metagame for protoss versus zerg because there's basically you know what both players are going to be doing Virus, uh, Team Echo's Virus. Echo's Virus is going to be getting three hatcheries. He's, it's gonna happen, guys. Believe me, I'm a prophet. And uh, from Big Dog, we're probably gonna see a pylon going down on the low ground. It's kind of weird to see a pylon placed behind the uh, mineral line, but usually, usually you see the pylon on the low ground go for that forge fast expand. Uh, it could be for once we're gonna see somebody do something different, but I'm not holding my breath. It's probable that this is just gonna be used for hidden. Uh, tech later on. I don't believe it is a choke. I think the drone might be able to fit behind that pylon and kind of snake around the mineral line. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Echo's virus's drone is he's, he's causing a little bit of mischief, but he hasn't taken too much damage himself, and it's certainly he's just kind of. If you didn't know, if he starts mining in a mineral patch, it makes it so that the other player can't mine from that one too. So he's basically making it so that a uh, big dog can't mine off that mineral patch. Mild, mild annoyance. Uh, more than anything else, but it is an annoyance and it requires some APM. So it's pretty cool. Check that out. Nexus first. Not even a forge, not even a pylon. Very, very clever. Big Dog snuck that probe out behind the back of Virus, so Virus is completely unaware for the time being about that expansion. However, the Overlord is making its way in from the north side and with the drones beating its hasty retreat, he's going to scout out that Nexus. Fortunately for him, Virus has already taken his own hatchery at his natural and is probably going to be making motions like he wants to take a third in relatively short order. Spawning pool is already up for virus so it could be that he can punish the hubris of big dog because you know he threw up this expansion without taking the forge first meaning that the photon cannon is going to be very much delayed meaning that if zerglings leave the base and we see four of them on the production tab right now. They could theoretically squeeze through this uh, front door before the wall is either complete or with the photon cannon to protect it. I'm not 100% sure. It's probable the virus is just going to let him because the timing is going to be incredibly tight. The first four Zerglings are out on the field right now, but they are heading off down to the third just to see if there is a probe sitting behind the mineral lines. Could be that he's worried about a uh, pylon uh, photon cannon rush or more likely just wants to make sure that if it is going to get scouted he can take out that probe because it's very very likely that a protoss player will keep a probe positioned down here at the third because that timing is very important if you don't see that hatchery going up it cues you in that there's going to be a large push at the front door as things are now virus is content to sit back on an even keel 16 over 23 for the harvester count right now however on the production tab we can see two more on the way and that's going to be bringing them up to 20 so that gap is going to get narrower and narrower as the hatchery at the natural gets fully saturated. I mean, look at that saturation. He's only on two right now. Back at home, he's got 16. So, yeah, we're going to see a huge swell of drones in a very, very short amount of time. Cybernetic core is also being constructed. There's that photon cannon that we were missing. Hatchery is also up, and it's going to be going to town on that unbuildable plates, which uh, is kind of funny because if this uh, Zerling wanted to run in, it probably could run right by that photon cannon as it's focusing down the unbuildable plates. Robotics facility also being positioned. Everything's powered off of this one pylon with the exception of the gateway and cybernetic core off the north side with that pylon. Uh, but a, a robotics facility, everything's right here. Everything's right here that could be suicided in by this overlord. This is a pretty cool trick that I noticed in Rings of Liberty. But uh, even though, oh wait, is this guy detected by something? I don't know. It's weird that if you switch over to his vision, he can see it. So I guess this overlord's not actually on that hidden little uh, structure if you position your overlord directly over the hologram right there you can't see it and when you can't see it the shadow disappears which is awesome 
Uh, so I was going to show you guys a pretty cool trick, and I learned something myself. However, for Virus, if he moves his Overlord maybe half a distance to the heck, uh, Nexus, he could scout that robotics facility, which would be absolutely huge. Unfortunately for Echo Virus, he's moving in with his Overlord on the right side of the main. He's going to come in and see a barren wasteland. There's nothing here. Uh, in his position, I'd be much more likely to move down to the south side of the Nexus and check out this pylon because I've already scouted it and that's the perfect place for hidden tech. Uh, but it looks like Echo's virus is a little bit better than me at scouting. He's going to continue on his merry way and is eventually going to scout out that robotics facility, which is a major win for him. Seeing that robotics facility, more importantly seeing the Immortal, uh, and I don't think he did see the Immortal, but if he did... You know that that Zealot, Immortal, Sentry mix, seeing the two Sentries is also a really big key in. Those two gateways are very cool too. So he's going to know the unit composition that's going to be coming at him relatively soon. Two plus one on the way. Those two Sentries are going to eventually kill that Overlord. There it goes. I'm always surprised at how little damage they do. And let's switch back to that uh, economic standing. 53 over 47. Echo's Virus has taken over the uh, economic race right now. Pretty much neck and neck in gas as well as mineral income but a little bit of an edge for virus and we're just going to see that get bigger and bigger as the drone production continues usually you, you kind of teeter off at about 60 maybe 70 depending on how aggressive you want to be i guess you could bring it down to 50 but that's really whenever you want to get hyper aggressive more having to use roaches less having to look forward to the future of like an investor pit or something like that Roach Warren is already out on the field. Hydralisk Din added into the mix and the plus one plus one for the dual Evo chamber. So everything consider this is going to be a very nice unit composition going to be coming out of that lair. Look for more upgrades in the future for that uh, production tab, but he's going to be relying on Zerglings right now to stem off any aggression from Big Dog. And this is an interesting form of aggression. Normally, traditionally, you'd see a large swell of uh, Zealots with this so that they can use that plus one that uh, is almost done right now and uh, kind of buffer in some added DPS because in reality yes those immortals do a lot of damage but there's only three of them there and the sentries certainly can't be helpful in dealing with any form of uh, a zergling rush and yeah their force fields are, are great also but this map daybreak is so very large really needs to add in a lot of zealots before he gets too ballsy I understand getting out this sheer number here comes the zerglings zero force fields oh it's just a second of inattentiveness from uh, Big Dog and his his entire century ball just gets completely decimated. He had probably eight of them just a second ago. Now he's down to five, but uh, some of those, or three of those, are ones that were just now created. Absolutely devastating for him. These roaches don't stand a chance with three immortals still out on the field right now. The third immortal is inside the uh, warp prism. A really good engagement for Virus to snipe out those sentries uh, and costing quite a lot of energy from Big Dog. But now Big Dog has to make something happen. He has to push out uh, and, and do some damage. Probably wants to make motions for the third to deal with uh, that expansion because it's much more open. Yes, there's uh, pretty much a pseudo wall already here uh, but he's got to be very careful as he's moving off to the front door there's a nice choke there really going to be benefiting big dog if the engagement takes place in there virus knows that he's going to be focusing on those debris but as the sentries and zealots become exposed at the top of the ramp the roaches can basically snipe them down not having to take any damage from the immortals we see a couple of immortals firing onto the left side virus having to retreat here they come swinging in again the sentries are very much exposed right at the front that's where you need those zealots and that's exactly why you need those zealots is because those sentries go down down in a matter of seconds if there's nothing there to absorb the damage and if big dog doesn't want to stay on top of the uh, force field placement this is what's going to happen his entire force gets absolutely demolished at the same time the warp prison that was there to support them has repositioned down to the third dropped off the zealots that should have been there for that initial engagement and it looks like he's going to be taking down that hatchery oh no virus has arrived with his roaches he's going to be taking down every single one of those zealots handful of uh, stalkers remain how much 132 health for that hatchery but the roaches are targeting down no the soccers are focusing fire down on that hatchery oh man it was so close that hatchery just barely barely dying as the last stalker goes down quite a lot of roaches left alive on the field and uh, it looks like this main force from big dog is completely cleaned up zero immortals out on the field right now so those roaches are very very intimidating and this wall off while robust really really can't ex you can't really expect it to hold off against that many roaches especially because those roaches are going to be able to pick off the majority of the structures with only taking one or two shots from the photon cannon a lot of sentries 
have been added back into the mix, but the robotics facility really isn't creating anything right now. And the observer is just kind of sitting there. That observer needs to get out there to see that this this is on the way. Those roaches are going to be hitting this front door like a ton of bricks. And that's going to be uh, bad news. It looks like the robotics facility was waiting just for a second for the uh, support bay to, to finish. However, seeing that that many roaches are on the way definitely needs another immortal out, which he has that's currently going chrono boost. Much better with the force fields right now cutting up Virus's uh, large roach army into three or four manageable chunks. And remember now that the plus one is down, those zealots and stalkers definitely do more and more damage. Those roaches taking down the uh, forge that was on the south side of that barricade, just <laughs> bursting their way up to the top of the ramp, turning around using the natural choke there to their advantage, dealing with the zealots, not having to worry about the stalkers, making their way into the... Uh, probe line of big dog big dog just taps out good game well played indeed team echoes virus just showing you exactly how to deal with the uh, unit composition coming out of big dog and like i was saying he desperately desperately needed zealots uh, and he had the money I, I don't know if you guys were paying attention at the time uh, i saw it out of the corner man he had like 600 some minerals and i he had the tech for it he, he had like three or four different gateways it could be that they were on cooldown but the sheer amount of sentries that he had are fantastic. And that the amount of uh, force fields that he could throw down are going to be great too. But when you don't have any zealots, not even a single one in that unit composition, you don't really buy yourself a lot of leeway. And a second of inattentiveness, wanting to snap back and just create one or two extra probes back at home, leads your entire army so exposed. And running in those Zerglings like that, getting that surround, and then the second he saw that his units were under attack and he snapped back, it's too late. You can't throw down force fields whenever you're completely surrounded. I don't care how good your force fields are, you're going to lose a lot of stuff, and that's exactly what happened. He lost a lot of sentries, and because of that, he didn't have the force fields necessary to continue his barrage. Uh, and he had to fall back. It was a good play over here to throw down with that warp prism. It was a good play to snipe out the hatchery. But Virus made it so that uh, he lost pretty much every unit that he, he tried to take out that hatchery. Congratulations, you took it on a 300 mineral uh, building. But he killed four zealots, which is worth 300 minerals right there. Plus, like, six stalkers, something like that. Check out the units lost tab. Nine, 92 to 64. Virus is just more cost-effective the entire time. And I think it was because Big Dog's just, he lost steam. Uh, he lost steam because he didn't have the unit composition necessary. There's a reason those zealots are usually added in there. Uh, that's it for me, guys. That's it for me. If you guys have a uh, comment on the game, email echo.starcraft at <laughs> dot gaming at gmail dot com, or and you make sure you check back, subscribe to this channel if you uh, start to like Team Echo, especially Echo's virus. He can show you how you play Zerg because this is a devastating problem. Basically, the uh, the whole zealot. Sentry immortal build is ravaging the Zergling uh, Zerg ladder right now, and so if you want to learn how to play against it, pay attention to how Virus does it because he does it very, very well. I'll see you guys later. I am big and scary. Bye.